Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Ridgeback Hitch Bike Rack and how it fits on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. The Ridgeback is going to be a hanging style bike rack, which means it holds onto our bikes primarily with the top tube right here. And it's got one anti-sway cradle here in the back to help keep some of that movement out of the case. But as with most hanging style bike racks, you're going to get a little bit of that back and forth movement. And you notice here that this front tire is free swinging. So I definitely recommend picking up some sort of stabilizing strap to keep that in place. But it does have the ability to hold four bikes up to 40 pounds a piece. It's got a couple cool features that we'll check out throughout the video. So let's get to it. Because we do make primary contact with the frame of our bike here, we don't recommend using these types of racks with carbon frame bikes because it could potentially damage it while you're driving. Also, if you have an alternative frame style bike, you might have to pick up a bike adapter bar. Same thing for kids' bikes because we don't have any sort of taper here at the end. You might have to pick up a bike adapter bar to make those work too. The rack does have the ability to tilt away, but we have to get the bike unloaded first, so we'll do that. First, we'll pull out these zip strips here. I just kind of store them in that back hole right there where that lever is. Same thing on this side. And then we'll get that anti-sway strip out of the way, which can be a little bit tricky getting around the tire. So just sort of wiggling that back and forth, maybe pulling one side through and then repeating that with the other side to get that out. We'll get that out of the way. And now we can come around and get our bike off. Because we can only hold 40 pound bikes, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Just getting it around those center arms is the hardest part. With the bike off, I'll just get these zip strips put away. It's best to just put them back where they go so we don't lose those, especially because they do come all the way out. And then once those are away, I'll get a measurement while it's in this position so we get an idea of how much length we're gonna be adding on with the bikes loaded up. So from the bumper to the furthest point back, that's gonna come in at around 42, 43 inches that you're adding on to the back of the vehicle. It's already pretty long, so that's a ton of space that you're gonna be adding on. But we do have the ability to fold these arms down, which we'll do just by pulling this gray lever here up at the top. You'll hear it click down into place and it'll hold those arms. So I'll get a new measurement and see how much space we saved with them down like that. In the case of the arms being folded down now, they only come in at about 15 inches, so we cut our distance well over in half and we save a ton of space that way. From here now, we can tilt the rack away. It does tilt pretty aggressively, so we'll open up the tailgate now. And we'll see that it does not actually make any contact with the rack. You might even honestly have enough room to sit down if you want to, depending on how much you're gonna be moving the tailgate when you do. But I'd probably recommend against it just to be safe. From here though, if we need to, if we have a tonneau cover, be a great time to access things out of the bed that we might need. Otherwise, because it is just sort of in the center, any time really would be a good time to get into the bed if you don't have a cover. But super easy to tilt away, fold back up, click back in place, and now it's secure. From here, we can see what it covers up on the back of our vehicle. So because it is in the center, a license plate is gonna be blocked straight on, but there's gonna be angles to see it from pretty easily. It is right in the way of our backup cameras though, kind of the same thing. Because it is so centered, we'll have angles to see to either side of it, but it's definitely gonna take up a lot of the middle of what we can see. With your bikes loaded up and the arms out, it's definitely gonna interfere with your rear window a little bit. The bike's gonna be sitting up pretty high, so the tires are definitely gonna be visible out of the back. But because it, it is in the center again, it won't interfere with our tail lights at all. The rack uses an inch and a quarter shank to fit into our two inch hitch receiver. It's held in place by this pin. In our case, it's got a two inch sleeve to allow it to fit into the two inch receiver. And it's all secured down here at the back with this anti-rattle handle or knob. It's got a lock core in it, so if you want to lock that up, it won't be able to spin and you won't be able to remove the rack from the hitch. It's also got this little fin here on the bottom to protect against ground clearance issues, which for the case of the Sierra, I don't see us really running into. So because it's got an inch and a quarter, you can use it with cars with inch and a quarter receivers or two inch receivers. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps. 
which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. This again was just a quick look at the Yakima Ridgeback and how it fits on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500.